<coughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. That was a good, good job there. Hi, everyone. My name is Tony Millay, and I'm a candidate for the uh, 17th Congressional District. And I welcome you all here today, and I really appreciate you coming out. I'd just like to take a one moment to thank our host, Rally for America. Uh, I have to go a little bit off script because I have to take a little bit issue with one thing about the characterization of this movement that's moving across the country like wildfire. It was characterized as being motivated by fear. Well, take a look around this room. I don't see a scared person in this room except my opponent. He didn't show it. <laughs> we are not motivated by fear, ladies and gentlemen. We are motivated by courage. We are not motivated by, by, by political animus. We're, we're motivated by love of country. That is why we are here. We <laughs> characterize us as anything other than patriots. What the Boston Tea Party did was it sent out a cry around a world full of kings that free people bow to no one. Free people do not bow to emperors, Mr. President. <laughs> My name is Tony Lane. This is the U.S. Constitution. And this is my platform. <laughs> That's it. Question, Mr. Tony. <laughs> my friends, what I like to say is that we are the people. You are the people. I want to start this conversation as I were your congressman. The type of congressman you want. Not a congressman who's going to come here and give you speeches and, and give you a cheerleading session. What I came here to do was to listen and to learn. And you tell me what you want me to do up there in Washington, and I bet you the bank I'll do it. What's your feelings about term limits? What's my feelings about term limits? The Constitution clearly defines term limits. They are called, the, they are called for in the Constitution as far as the term limits. If you want term limits, what I tell everybody to do is get up off your rump and go out and vote. That's right. That is the problem we have with term limits. And it's real easy to turn around and shift the blame and therefore it's because of money, it's because of everyone else. I ran for public office in this town. I won nine, approximately nine out of the 12 uh, villages of, of uh, the town of Ramapo. I lost it by a pittance. And I blame no one except the people who didn't come out and vote. I won, that, I, I won the town of Ramapo by 11,000 votes, and I can gladly say that I am the supervisor of the town of Ramapo, except for the village of Muncie. So term limits really is called for in the Constitution. We become a little lazy, sir, and what we've got to do is we've got to get our neighbors out and motivate them to come out and vote. And then we shall see how term limits will work. favor of restricting the dictatorial powers of the EPA, which wants to control and ruin almost everything. Yeah. Sir, I would be in favor of dismantling yeah. the EPA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is no such a thing. It's not in here. It's not. It's, we don't need it. Yes. I have a question. There's so many things that the president is doing that's unconstitutional. How come nobody calls for it? How come nobody keeps doing stuff? And sometimes it's unconstitutional. But nonetheless, he gets everything done. That's right, ma'am. You know what we need to do? Yeah. We, need, we need this room to convince my party chairs of the Republican, <coughs> the conservative, and the independent chairs to nominate me as their candidate. You all come out and campaign and vote. Put myself and the other gentlemen who want to work with me in the 17th, 18th, and 19th district, send us up there as a team, and we will repeal every unconstitutional effort that this unconstitutional president has enacted. But I, I do know he's 
So I don't need the congressman of, of, of Maryland. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. By the way, I invited Elliot Kingle this evening, and he did not respond to my question. Yes. Just letting you know. Yes, he's busy bowing to someone. He's busy bowing <laughs> yeah, hi, my name is Steve Morris, Jimmy and I are the founders of the 912 group of Nassau Court County. Um, we are, um, we're convinced that we're going to win, but we're worried in the Tea Party movement that um, there will be a third party. We worry that, we, that if you will not, uh, that a candidate who doesn't win the primary will, will not support the one that does. And we want uh, so actually, please, everybody, please, whoever it is, we need one candidate to run against the Democrats. I hope you'll all agree to do that. I'm that candidate, sir. <laughs> I'm I'm that candidate. I'd just like to take a call. Uh, Mr. Rita, are you counting, please? <laughs> <laughs>